Okay, welcome back to Farthest Frontier. In the last video, we kind of committed to building the soap maker and to the candle shop. Uh, we, we have everything we need to make that industry up and run. Uh, we also got the pottery people going, so we have some pottery floating around. Um, one of the things we're super excited for is we're going to get this stinking uh, park up and running over here, and that's going to increase the desirability of all those houses. So after we have the, this getting done here and we save up some planks, we are going to upgrade the poo-poo out of those houses over there so that we can get our um, level three guy. And we probably, to tell you the honest truth, we probably really need to build a, a barracks in the very near future. If not a barracks, at least, you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and do it now. At least another um, tower. This right here is the heart of of the village this is where all of our our gold is stored and everything i want to put the tower uh here as well but i also i kind of feel like this is our 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 building center like this is where like i don't know what when they loot i don't really know what they loot like i don't know if they can come in here and like attack this and break this structure and take a bunch of soap i just don't know if they can do that or not um I would like to do something like this where it's kind of in the like in the crossroads and it's kind of just tucked in there. Like I think that looks pretty cool. Saving people. I don't think they're going to go after the people. I don't think they're going to attack homes. I think they're going to really going to want things of value, which would be over here. And there's a little bit of overlap. I mean, if we're going to overlap anything, we would overlap this place that's like where all the stuff we're, we're gonna do it that way we're gonna, we're gonna build it here and we're gonna overlap the the most vulnerable area here we go because we're gonna we're gonna get raided and it's just it, it's gonna be a thing like it's it's gonna start getting worse and worse all right What are you doing there? Oh, there we yeah, are. We're building that extra house. We need to have an extra house to attract settlers. That's right. And we didn't have logs until this moment. So there we go. Beautiful. Lovely. Wow, we're only missing eight. We went from like 26 down to eight. That's pretty... That's pretty great. Linen clothes, shoes. Child has grown up. That's so good. We need more workers. So good. And really, let's look here. So who, what are you hunting? You're hunting the one deer that's here. That's good. You're hunting the one deer that's out there. That's good. And you're hunting the hogs and... Okay, so there's another deer up there up for grabs. Because the only other hunters are down here. And they're going after the double deer on that side. So we can build another hunter's hut over here on this side again. And he can go all the way out there for those deer. And I think... I think that's going to be worth it. Yeah, I think that's going to be worth it. I like the geese coming in, let you know, like, hey, it's fall. <laughs> There was a uh, an old comic that this girl, uh, I worked at a, a bookstore for a little bit, and this girl desperately tried to get me hooked on this Bone comic, and uh, she was like, you just gotta read the first page, it's so funny, and I did, I did, I read the first page, and it was, it was I always remember it, because it, it is a funny joke, but it just wasn't my kind of humor, where the guy's walking down the road, and he's like, Winter comes fast in these parts. And then the next panel, he's just standing in like 
five feet of snow <laughs> the, the 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 panel before it was like autumn i thought i did think that was genuinely funny but it just wasn't you know wasn't my kind of funny look at that they already got the the hunters hut up and going like they they know Dude, it would be great if they could get all this building done before the winter. Like these six planks right here. They make the planks right there. All you gotta do is just run them over. That'd be pretty slick. Right here. That Please and thank you. Are you bringing the last little bit? She did. She brought the last little bit. You gonna build it now? She is very nice. Very, very nice. Let's just say I'm I'm so I'm so impressed with this how quick everything here gets taken care of now. Before, I mean it was it was a chore. And we have one person making changes. That's really that's really slick. Predators are attacking. Oh my gosh. Man, that bear is just not landing. Get wrecked, bear. Oh my gosh. Get wrecked, <laughs> you piece of trash. That was fantastic to see. All right. Now you really, I need to, to really pay attention. I don't even know where I put this one at. Oh, out here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still going for the berries. Very good. And then you, are you still going for berries? You got mushrooms and nuts to go after. So we'll go after the mushrooms and nuts, and then we'll throw you on the berries. And then up here, how many people we have working on this? That's good. Working camp. We have two people up there, and they're, they're getting stone, and they're getting trees. Lovely. Lovely. That's perfect. And then that way we don't really have to have as many people free floating laborers because we have one of the biggest things kind of sorted now, which is, um, you know, we don't, we don't have to do this anymore. Like telling them to chop down stuff so that they don't have to go do it. We have people who just sit here and like hammer this out. Although not as many trees around here as I'd like, but the trees are growing back around this area. I can move there. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It got done. The small part. They probably could have put a place to sit. Like that, that wouldn't have been a bad, a bad move there. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought I had turned off automatic, um, automatic updates to the houses, but apparently they're, they're, they're going to go ham on it. Like it's, they're just doing it anyway. So <laughs> here we go. Four, three, two, one, zero. There we go. Brand new house, which pays more in taxes. And then now, because these people pay so much more in taxes, we have another guard house. Are we putting two people on there? No, just one. Yeah, that, that's what I want to see. And then during times of attack, I'll, I'll put two people on here. I don't know if we have another weapon that they can use. Yeah, when we get our next settlers, uh, traders next year, we're, we're need to buy a, another weapon. I don't think we have any. All right, let's go look and see where you're working at. You picked up everything. There's just a little bit left before the winter. Good luck trying to snag it. And then you have. Another bear. Dude, Dude get right, bear. Seven out of three. Oh. Okay, next year we're starting with you know what? I I I, I like it. But we're gonna do that. And that, and 
And then probably carrot. Can we do carrot? No, no, let's do carrot. Um, peas or beans? I guess we'll do peas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good. All right, and then over here, uh, carrots and beans. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty good. Like I think, I think they they up the fertility. I can just check right quick. I think, I think they up the fertility. No, they actually hurt it. Carrots hurt the fertility. What about what about beans? Okay, they, they bring it back. They bring it back. And that's going to do it. And then we'll get some more of this stuff for industry. Cool. For that industry back there. He needs it. We don't want to see him run out. And really, I guess, after I get that done, I, I guess I should start thinking about mining. Because we have... We have iron ore, we have uh, deep gold, so I guess we should start thinking about mining and getting like uh, iron and stuff. I wonder if we'll get done with that house before the winter. You know that had to happen like somewhere in history there was a family who was just worked their tails off and then went to sleep that night and like everything was done like they'd worked so hard and then finally everything got done with the the, the home they were building and they went to bed that night and then the next morning they woke up and it was just you know like a foot of snow and they're like i am so happy <laughs> you know that we we got all that done and now we can just kind of veg out inside and not have to work as hard and really, I think, I forget who I was talking to. I think it was a, a, an old work colleague, but we were talking about like uh, what was normal back then. And apparently it was, you didn't have bedrooms. You had one room, right? Like, or maybe two. And then everyone slept in one gigantic bed. You did not have like your own bed. And the idea was that you didn't freeze <laughs> because you guys were all like hanging out together, you know, like you'd warm it up, warm up the bed. I just couldn't imagine. Well, I mean, I guess I can because I've gone camping and stuff, and that's kind of the same thing. You put the little tent down. You kind of you're all in there together, <laughs> for better or worse. Well, look at that. We have 13 wood planks, and we have like all these houses here are going to get upgraded. I'm kind of happy that they that the automatic thing was enabled again. I thought I had disabled it, but apparently I didn't. So I'm kind of happy that that's that's doing it. I am I am worried about uh I am worried about uh the logs though. Oh, okay. So they are going to work through the winter. I was wondering if they were going to work through the winter. I didn't think they did, but here we are. And these are called homesteads. Very interesting. Why are you, why are you unhappy? Why? Yeah, you're not... Oh, I guess they thought for a moment they didn't have a place to live. <laughs> They forgot where they live. They built the house and they're like, I don't know where I live anymore. And boom. Yeah, unhappy, doesn't have a shelter, goes into the house. Is that person still sick? Wow, they are still sick. Seeking medicine. We don't have any, dude. I 
probably am going to fire you from your job. Yeah. Not to be mean, but we, we do need to have people bringing in meat and stuff so that no one, that we don't all die. So we just don't have any medicine, unfortunately. Laborer negative one because the the person's sick, so that's why it's ten negative one. All right. Uh, do I not have a well? I have a well there, there, and there. I never built a well out here for the industry folks. Well, that's not nice. Um, I'm going to do that. Water bonus of only 49. 55, 69, 56. Yeah, I don't... I don't think it's going to be a huge problem. I'm just going to put it right there. It, it's very cheap. Very... Not a huge investment. We're going to put it there just so they have access to water a little closer <clears throat> to where they're at. Okay, now let's go look and see where we're... We got to have 15 or uh, 25 and we have 14. Okay. Okay. Even if we had those... We, we are nowhere near. Well, maybe we'll get closer. All right. So, who... Where's our desirability deal at? We need another shrine? Or do we want to do a temple? Temple is If I can put another another deal out here, that's ten. That brings the, the desirability up quite a lot. If I put it here, plus eight, plus two, plus eight, plus nine, plus two, and then that does plus eight, plus eight, plus nine, plus three, plus three, plus nine. I wonder if it goes off of roads. Like, I wonder if I put a road in front of this. If it would... Because it doesn't look like it has anything to do with roads. It looks like it has everything to do with... Oh, they probably are getting... Yeah, they're probably already, like, satiated. So I could, I could kind of, like, put it... Well... If I put it right here up against it. Hmm... So that gets me up to 28. And a lot of those are already happy. They're already over the desirability of 32. It really is this cluster of houses and then this cluster of houses down here. But, but this isn't going to make them as happy because they already have somebody preaching to them. This would make a lot of people happy up here. I think I'm going to do that then. I think I'm going to do that. And then, even though I don't really think it makes a big deal, I am going to go ahead and put a road in. Like that. And then the last thing I can think of, I we do not need another school right now. But the market... I just need... It'd be nice if I could upgrade the market before having to have a level 2... Um, a level two whatever and I have to have a level two whatever to get oh I could buy the bricks though how much does it require how many bricks 50 bricks I, I bet I could just buy the bricks to tell you the honest truth hmm nothing to think about food for thought all right where are you working at it's working over there that's not the best let's send you right here and just snag those greens right in front of your door those that's easy same thing with you. You're not really working the most 
the best area. Snag those greens and those herbs. Let's go on the hill. You guys are still getting the trees, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some trees there. They haven't quite felled yet. Really good with rocks. Yeah. yeah there's trees. Trees to be had. Really gonna... Oh, here we go. Here's here's a, here's a, a trader. I was gonna say, I'm really gonna be interested to see what the traders bring this year. Because I think we might have some stuff for them. 24 pots. I mean, that's that's pretty good. I'm sure they've they found their way all inside people's houses. Yeah, pottery. Sure, they found them. They only need one though, and I guess once they have one, like they don't need it ever again. Maybe maybe it breaks. They don't have any candles yet. The candle makers taking a moment to get spun up. Hey, it's the lady. So she is buying baskets and candles and beer and gold and wood planks and iron ore and she is selling smoked fish tools and a weapon but we do have a weapon that's interesting i didn't think we had any of those iron bars stone heavy tools and coal she is not selling bricks uh, okay cool I'm going to come over here to this place. I'm going to back us off by three on the cutting of boards. I don't think we just need that many board cutters. Get our laborers up a little bit more. Oh, look, that that person over there, the, the, the wagon person, actually has work to do. They're bringing in 10 logs and 10 stone from the frontier. How cool is that? Quite lovely. Quite lovely. Uh, food production, goods and material production. Okay. Cool. Yeah, the only the only thing it seems like this second phase here, like it's it's quite the hump. It's hard to get over it. Oh, we can do a festival pole. We can do a festival pole up here. It can also be something we put in. Oh, that only brings it up by like 1%, though. The desirability of 1%, 2% for the festival pole? I mean, that really sucks. I mean, I guess that's why this place doesn't have like a big deal. I guess over time, it'll it'll make it more and more... Uh, whatever. Okay. Well, there's housing... This is storage. This is the wagon shop. That's the granary. The vault wouldn't be a bad thing to do. Like that wouldn't be a bad thing to kind of put our money toward. Forager shack, fishing shack we'll have. A windmill and the bakery. That not oh the barn. That's right. We need we need to do the barn. Obstructed by a road. I don't want to put the barn out here. Fodder bonus. Nice. Yeah. I mean, but yeah. Cool. I don't know how I'm going to get animals, but we'll see. All right. Yep, yep, yep. I see that. Okay, you have picked up all that. Fantastic. Oh, let's move you. Let's do that. And then you have picked up all of that. Perfect. I just put it on the greens over there. That's fine. I guess. I guess. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I should have built many of these 
shacks, the gatherer shack, and maybe I should be moving it, you know? Like, maybe I should be putting them on those things like I do the hunters, and they just let the, let the gatherers do their year-round thing. I just don't know what they do when they don't have anything to collect. Like, I don't know if they just sit there idly or if they go help the laborers. I don't know what they do. Forty logs, hundred and fifty of that, and then fifteen of that. So yeah, wood plank. Oh, we have another girl over there preaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. Those, but those houses aren't near the desirability of thirty. They're at twenty-eight out of thirty. So I wonder if I can just do one of those little decorations. I can squeeze one in somewhere. Well, they have they have that there. I bet that's not. I bet that's the same type of desirability. So it's not going to help. That one gets over. That one gets to 30. That one gets to 30. Yeah. All right. The other trader, I think, is among us now. So let's go look. He is buying baskets and can... Oh, he is actually buying pottery. And he is actually giving us a good deal on it. And he's buying... Look at that. That's a cool thing. Like, he's buying beer. And he's buying it for, for, for well below the average. And I think she's buying beer... At the, oh, no, no, no. What I want to do, hold on. Is she selling? Someone was selling beer. Oh, I guess it's not this year. It would be really cool if one of them was selling beer for a really low and the other one was buying beer for really high. And then it would make sense because we're like a trade hub, you know? Like we're the intermediary. Um, look, look, look. Cows. We don't have a... Oh, he's bringing cows, but we don't have a place for the cows, so we can't have it. That sucks. I would like to buy a cow for $630. Cheese, stone, log, tallow. But that's where we get the cows from. He has to show up with them. What's that? Flower. Uh, I don't mind selling all of our pots, to tell you the honest truth. I don't mind just saying zero. And bring... Oh, no. Not 500. 50. Yeah, that's weird. I wonder if it always brings that 50 over then. Like, as the years go on. Uh, I hope not. I hope it doesn't do that. Let's see, we can't sell any of it because we don't have any of it here. 10 villagers graduated. Congratulations, 10 villagers. Ah, so we, we can. We can tell it to keep it in stock, but we have it turned off right now. But I have told it to bring the 16 here. But no one, there's no, no one's, no one has, has acknowledged that they're going to do it. Oh, now it's zero. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yes, he picked it up from there. Now he's bringing it over here. I see. And now it should, it should populate here. 16, right? Perfect. And now I can do that. And now I can do that for 200 and $88. Perfect. And then here, from that, perfect. Cool. All right. Lovely. We just made, we made, we made a chunk of change. I like that. And I saw that the candle maker is producing some more candles and that our houses have candles. Very nice. Well, this, this one doesn't have uh, candles, but you know. Pottery. How many people do we have now? Nine laborers. And ten months worth of food. Which I guess is not bad. 
10 months of food is not it's not so terrible it's not like so so much but it also isn't i don't know how to say it. like 10 10 i don't i don't think we should do more than 10 months it's just gonna rot anyway all right let's get you out here to pick up them greens and then you you know what you can go ahead and start going into the, the happy valley because we have nuts and mushrooms and eggs to pick up perfect and now i can continue my figuring out of this area how to get those houses over 30. so no desirability this has a little bit of desirability but it's like it's another i think it's the same buff I think it's the same buff that we had bef that we have down here. Plus three, and then nothing. Plus three, plus three, plus two. So it kicks one over, and gets the other ones to twenty six. That one is so close. We have that. It would be nice if they'd give you a more quantitative deal with desirability than just the up arrow. I assume the more it costs, like that's thirty dollars, and then five, five, and, and like ten, and that one's five, three, and five, and ten, and two, and five. That one was twenty-five and ten. So like, I just kind of wonder who's the more expensive or, or like what, what what's the biggest bang for your buck they don't give you plus four uh, plus four plus three plus four plus three plus three so this one would kick over that one that, doing that right there would kick over three people into the 30 range so i think we're going to do that Probably gonna tell you to knock it off. We have a hundred, we're good. What industry can I actually do anything? Oh, we're at 33 already. Crap. What industry can I do with the barracks? Palisade wall. Eight. Um. What industry? Yeah, yeah, right here. So iron and gold. So where does this go? Like here? Like, there's just tons of iron over here, right? And there's just tons of iron here. So I, could, I could just put an iron mine, like, right there, just like that. And I'd have tons of iron in range. And it's, it's 20 and 30. It's nothing. I thought it was going to be a huge production, but it is not. There we go. And then we'll we'll have people we'll have people mining iron. We are going through that timber, boy. We are going through that timber. Kind of feel dumb for taking these people off. Man. Okay, we're at thirty three. I gotta stop. Thank you so much, folks, for watching. Have a great day. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And if you have a moment, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.